Good afternoon, garden friends, and welcome to Sip, Sew, and Share. This is going to be a relaxing community tab garden chat. Now, depending on the time of day that I do these recordings will determine what I am sipping on. That's why I say good afternoon. Um, if it's in the morning, you might see me drinking coffee, you know, afternoon, evening, water, tea, or, you know, a beer. But I am so thrilled to introduce this new initiative through my community tab on YouTube. And my goal is to engage my wonderful viewers in an exciting new way. For the last three weeks, I have been posting polls uh, on my community tab and have been getting some uh, responses back um, from my viewers. I did uh, compare and contrast, uh, uh, comparing cocoa liners with linen liners. I question what are the biggest challenges that you face when gardening and what is most important to you when choosing garden dressing for keeping your, your garden looking nice and neat. Now the premise behind this poll or quiz, because I'm going to be doing some quizzes too, is for you to have a chance to have a direct say in the content that is of interest to you that I will be presenting on the third Saturday of every month, starting in July. I am so excited, even from the three that I have gotten, some of the comments that people have left, because you know, the thought process behind this is, with gardening, we are constantly learning I know when I visited Kim from Backyard Blooms with Kim, I had no idea the determining factor when you're supposed to cut zinnias. I would just go out there and just start clipping, you know, to put them, you know, in a vase. But learning from her, depending on the how it ends up flopping, if the stem flops, it needs to stay on the stem longer. If it's nice and stiff, then you can end up, you know, cutting it back. I got a new coral bark maple tree from another garden friend, planted it in a pot because I wanted that flexibility to be able to move it around because I was not 100% for sure that it would be able to survive this Georgia heat. And one of my garden friends, Felicia, told me that, you know, oh yes, it can handle uh, this Georgia heat. And she has a beautiful one in her backyard. I think with gardening, because it is a constant learning evolution, that is part of the reason why I, I want to take this initiative and this approach to my community tab. The idea too is joining this vibrant community means that not only are you watching, but you have a say. You, you have an opportunity to be able to expand your garden journey as you are gaining knowledge and experience from other gardeners, you know, because, uh, you know, we all have our best tips. We all have our struggles when it comes to gardening. And by doing this poll or these quizzes, like I said, I'm gonna be able to take that information and then third Saturday of every month, I am going to be able to take those numbers and present them back to you because you know if somebody may not have been able to you know participate in the poll you know that'll be able to have some information that is right at their fingertips now don't miss out on, on, on this subscribe now and be a part of something that is blooming this is for me to be able to focus and showcase 
those very things that we as gardeners end up facing, we as gardeners end up learning, we as gardeners want to share with each other. So once again, come along with me. Subscribing is three easy steps right here. Now, while this is something new that I am rolling out, there's something bigger down the road, you know, but I'm that type of person. You know what? Test the waters. See how it ends up going and then move on to that next level, which I am just so excited about being able to incorporate into my YouTube garden journey. Well, guys, listen, thank you again for visiting Inspiring Garden Corner. I look forward to seeing your comments, your interests based off of the polls and quizzes that I post on my community board. And you know what? Let's take this ride together.